Hi, sixth grade. Time to get your English notebooks and let's begin. You will need pens and highlighters to take accurate and legible notes in your notebook. This will be taken for a grade. Feel free to pause the video at any time you need to make sure that you have everything that is required. Now get to the chopper! Time to begin. Please label your notebook 10.2 Indirect Objects, page 335. An indirect object answers the question to whom or for whom. The action was done. It points to the person or thing that receives what is being given or done. Hint usually follows the pattern subject, verb, direct object, indirect object. Hint if I can't answer the question to whom or for whom, it means I don't have an indirect object. Example, Mario told Tina a lie. The steps, find the verb, told. Who or what told is Mario, which is a subject. Mario told who or what, lie, that's the direct object. Told lie to whom or for whom, Tina, which is the indirect object. Notice this keeps the pattern mentioned in a hint, subject, verb, direct object, indirect object. Let's try another. Tom paid the bill on Tuesday. The verb, paid. Who or what paid? Tom. Tom paid who or what? Bill. That's the direct object. Paid bill to whom or for whom? I can't answer that question. So the answer is there's no I-O in this sentence. Pause the video to jot down your notes, definitions, hints, examples, and steps. Your task is to label your notebook practice and then copy sentences 2 through 5 in your notebook and identify the underlined word as a direct object or indirect object. If it helps you to identify the verb and the subject, please do so. Number 1 has been done for you. Remember to bring your completed notebook to class the next school day for notebook credit and so we can review the skill in class. This is called flipped learning. Instead of being introduced to the skill at school, then practicing the skill at home, you are being introduced to the skill at home and the practice is done in school. Woo! This way I'm right there to help you and answer your questions while you practice and become stronger writers. Just a friendly reminder, that if your video lesson notebook work is not completed, you will earn a homework notice. Hasta la vista. I'll be back.